The circuit attorney is once again under fire in Jefferson City following a tragic accident in the city. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains the legislation up for debate that left Kim Gardner as the target of the discussion. Earlier this month, the House passed legislation that would allow the governor to appoint a special prosecutor if a city or county has a certain number of homicide cases. Even though the bill doesn't specifically target St. Louis City anymore, Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner was the center of attention during a Senate committee hearing. Why is the circuit attorney not here herself defending her record? She's busy working for the people of St. Louis. What started as a plan to address crime. When you get outside of our borders, people think of Missouri as a dangerous place. Has shifted to debate over the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office. I see this as an attack on, you know, on St. Louis City and African-American leadership. Senators met just days after Attorney General Andrew Bailey filed a motion in court to remove St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gartner from office after 17-year-old Janae Edmondson from Tennessee was critically injured, causing both of her legs to be amputated following a tragic accident last weekend in downtown St. Louis while walking to her hotel with her family after a volleyball tournament. She was struck by a driver who was out on bond. A recent horrific tragedy in St. Louis involving a young lady, Janae Edmondson, amplified criticism of the St. Louis Circuit Attorney and the issue was framed erroneously. The suspect in the case, 21-year-old Daniel Riley, was out on the street with a court-ordered GPS monitoring device. He had violated home detention orders more than 50 times. The circuit attorney's office telling senators it was the judge's fault. But Daniel Riley was out on bond because Judge Brian Hiddenbach allowed him out on bond. The Missouri Association of Prosecuting Attorneys in opposition of the legislation. People are rightly concerned about what's happening in the city of St. Louis. But Missouri, like the vast majority of other states, has a system of independently elected prosecutors for a reason. Jim Dandridge told senators Riley robbed his son back in 2020, saying if Gardner did her job, the accident with Edmondson never would have happened. I believe that the circuit attorney's office has failed my son. Um, here we are, it'll be three years this August, and the case is still pending. In the attorney general's motion, the judge said Monday that Gardner has 14 days to reply, and if she doesn't, judgment by default will be used against her. Last week, Gardner said she has no intentions of stepping down and defended her actions. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.